A serious case review has been published into the death of Daniel Pelka. The four-year-old was murdered by his mother, Magdalena Lushak, and her partner, Marius Krezilek, in March last year, after a campaign of cruelty described at the time as incomprehensible. He was regularly beaten, subjected to water torture, and starved of food. Today's review says there were a number of opportunities missed by school staff, social workers and police officers to uncover the abuse he was suffering. It makes 15 recommendations for how children's services in Coventry should be improved. Callum Watkinson reports. Daniel Pelka's body was laid to rest two weeks ago in a Polish grave next to his grandmother as his own mother begins a life sentence for his murder. Today's report outlines the role social services, his school and the police played in his death, or rather failed to play, in his short life. West Midlands police officers visited his mother's house on domestic violence call-outs 27 times, but the report says they raised concerns with social workers inconsistently. When we've gone and checked on the children, we probably should have been more inquiring and actually been more prepared to think the unthinkable in terms of what might have been happening to Daniel. And we didn't give Daniel a voice in that process either, so at no point throughout any of those occasions did we actually ask Daniel how he was or what was happening to him. At Daniel's school, staff saw his bruises, but didn't keep records of the injuries or tell social workers about them. If we were aware of the bigger picture of Daniel's life, or had any doubts about his mother, then we would, of course, have acted very differently. Although this has been a hugely traumatic time for everybody, our heart goes out to Daniel's surviving siblings. At the time, social services and schooling in Coventry was managed by Coventry Learning and Young People, or CLIP, a directorate within the City Council. Today, the man at the top said sorry. The City Council is sorry for the fact that we could and should have protected Daniel better and we've already acted. We are talking about failings by a large number of people though here, aren't we? No single professional or single agency could have predicted or prevented the murder in those circumstances of Daniel. However, what we've got to be really clear about is that there were missed opportunities. And you're right, a number of professionals within the City Council, Police, Health had contact with Daniel and indeed the family. 27 times police had been called to this house. This wasn't a family that wasn't known to the authorities, to you, to the police. Yes, there was contact, but the point here is very clear that professionals in the job that they do must have at their fingertips all the information, not just a little bit of it, but all of it. Like similar reviews into the deaths of Victoria Klimbier, Baby P and Kyra Ishak, this one says that if different agencies shared more with each other, the outcome may have been different. Basic bits of information that if they were shared, would have given professionals that were in the school a better for, chance. For example? Um, he was going into school with bruising on his face, black eyes, bruising elsewhere that staff had noticed, and yet none of the staff at the school notified CLIP. We've already undertaken and asked for an external independent investigation into safeguarding and leadership within that school because that absolutely needs to be understood why there wasn't that reporting. One notable conclusion the review makes is that in a world of educational welfare officer strategy meetings and GPs appointments made and cancelled, there was one person nobody spoke to. There is no record, it says, of any conversation held with Daniel by any professional about his home life, his experiences outside of school, his wishes and feelings, and of his relationships with his siblings, mother and her male partners. Mr Eves, how many times did your staff at the school or uh, staff at CLIP sit this little boy down and ask him how he was feeling? The review is really clear. And this actually is a, a, a part of the review which makes very difficult reading. The voice, in this case of Daniel, was not heard, was not front and centre. So we must understand why that's not part of the embedded no time. practice. And note, the review is very clear. There was not the, the hearing of Daniel's voice. But it's common sense, isn't it? If you think something's been done to the child, ask the child. The review is very clear. The voice of Daniel Pelker was not listened to, not just not enough as it should have been, or should have been more, not at all. There are lots of people talking about Daniel Pelker now. 
This report makes it clear that they did not talk enough to each other or to him when it mattered. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.